We got ourselves another video on Fresh and Fit. I wonder how they feel about it. Again! Mr. Hair Transplant doesn't look too happy. These guys were so quick to try to use this as content to make us look bad. They didn't properly vet this girl, but it's okay. I'm going to do it for them. But then she's running around and telling Abba and Preach and all these other simps. Oh, I'm not a escort and they're believing it. Oh, okay, I believe it. Interviewing a criminal, giving her a platform, letting her tell you all these lies. And, and you best believe, I'm calling immigration on you. 100%. You, sh you shouldn't even be here. All of a sudden, they think that this kind of character assassination is going to somehow lend credence to the fact that Fresh is asking her to get an abortion. And this is not the first time. I repeat. What? Fresh has done this to other women. And I wouldn't believe it if it came from another woman. But guess who it came from? Pug CEO himself. Go ahead. What's the worst thing you guys have done to a girl? Oh. So, if you guys know Tom Likas, there's some, something called the Hail Mary. Yeah. And like, oh, um, shit. basically. You want to tell this story? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's okay, do so it. basically, right? I was with this chick and we were kind of like fizzling out. It wasn't working out, but she got pregnant. And then um, <laughs> I kind of told her like, yo, we can work this out. Don't worry about it, but we can't have kids right now. <laughs> and then um, I did the Hail Mary. And now I'm here. No, tell them what the Hail Mary is. Tell them what the Hail Mary is. <laughs> <laughs> tell them what it is. Okay. Go all the way. Okay, okay. So the Hail Mary is the first example, right? Where like you tell the chick what she wants to hear and that you can have kids later on, make her get an abortion, you take it at, take it at McDonald's, get a McGriddle and an orange juice, you sit her down, you tell her about life, and I, you started this happen, and you, you never see her again. Wait. That got really <laughs> dark. That got really you can get her a nicer meal. Fresh. You ever gonna stop self snitching? Again! You fucking idiots! And in case you're wondering whether or not this is a real story, if you keep watching the clip, you'll see. That, that being said, Fresh says it's real. Coconuts and Barbados. Anyway, it's okay. People were like, oh, why would you think this? Because this is who Fresh is. This is things he's done before. So essentially, this guy gets a girl pregnant, pretends he's going to be with her, says, listen, oh, I want babies with you, but it's just not the right time. So the girl's so in love, she's like, all right, I'll get rid of this kid that I do want that you put inside of me. But to be with you, I'll get rid of it, and then we'll have kids together in the future when it's going to be the right time. And then he dumps her after she got the abortion. Does this seem like the kind of person who's trustworthy and responsible? I'm asking. According to Fresh himself, he's not. He's a deceptive individual who will say anything to a woman to get her to like him, and then will also lie to her to get himself out of any situation. I said, if a girl's on camera with me, she is what? Not my girl. Just keep that in mind. If I bring a girl on camera, she's not my girl. You never see my girl because I know what happens when you break on, on the internet. I learned from experience. That's all I'm gonna say. I brought her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Let me break. When I say Fresh is not credible and he's a dishonest person, this is what I mean. Is this red pill? To nut inside of a bunch of women, get them pregnant, and hope you can use deception to get them to abortions? The nuclear family is the backbone to any thriving society. Is it part of the nuclear family to nut inside a bunch of women that you don't actually want to be with and get them pregnant and hope they get abortions? Is this how you father uh, families and don't create single parent households? You know the thing is, all this time, people and them, they've been saying that we're not red pill, even though we never claim that we are. And we're not. But neither are you. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Neither are you. What is more beta than coming inside of women that y'all claim are sex workers and getting them pregnant and risking all your financial future? What is more beta than having an online beef with somebody and then putting on monkey suits and then losing millions of dollars because you want to be an idiot on camera? All you guys do is take L's. Again! Every time you guys get a chance. You embarrass yourself. And I know your fan base knows it because they're eviscerating you in the comments and they look at you guys like clowns. Oh, it's not really a fan base. Sometimes you're watching things because it's entertaining, not because you like it. Yeah. Or you like what's going on or anything yeah. like that. I don't know how you guys take this movement seriously. If you want to take it seriously, take it seriously. Their, their whole like destroying stream, they brought up her ID. They said all this other stuff. They provide no proof. Nothing really tangible. And they never address any of the lies they told their own fans. They don't address the fact that Fresh did pay for that gift, even though he told fans they're stupid. Have it. Like that. Have it. They are literal receipts that show Fresh paid for it. The Chinese escort, because I'm about to get Fresh on this one, too. So, Fresh, you gave an extremely expensive long <laughs> cleave bracelet, which are worth up to 30 k 
to a Chinese escort you just met. Now, Fresh, you claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. Show me the proof. But the escort says that you did. No, no he, didn't, he didn't. Number one, he didn't buy the bracelet so for her. All here's here's where you're wrong. Crazy. One, she's on the escort. And two, I didn't buy a bracelet. So what are you trying to say, bro? Where's, where's your proof? You have no you're proof. Fresh, you're lying, bro, you're fresh. You're fresh. You're a trick, bro. You're lying. And everyone sees it. There's all ones in the chat, bro. So to put that on me, just because you want to say, oh, Fresh is a simp. Wrong. So you didn't buy it. So can you no. Talk? You're just trying to say that he bought the bracelet. He didn't buy the yeah. bracelet. And you're saying, oh, Fresh bought her a Van Cleef bracelet. You have no proof of this. None. No, it's not true. He, he, paid, he paid half and I paid half. Like, like I said, how much? Around 30K. Uh, well, first, I, I still have the conversation. I told him, what's the issue if you tell everyone you bought me the bracelet? Like, why can't you tell everyone? Why can't you speak the truth? Like, why are you, like, pretending it, like, hiding it? But then he was like, don't say it. He just tell me to shut up. If Fresh says it's not his baby or she's not pregnant, then just demand a DNA test. Why don't you go do that? There's a reason why you're not going to do it. The Correct. reason why you're not going to do it is because you know it's your kid. All these people saying, oh, Fresh is uh, imp impotent. He can't have kids. Well, according to this, he's had other abortions before. They claim that she's a s worker, okay? I don't care. I said in the first video, she claims she's not. And you claim she's not. So that's what I'm going based off of. All three of y'all said this girl comes from a rich family and all this stuff. And what did I say? To date, there's no actual proof that she doesn't need that kind of work. Now, whether or not you want to believe that is up to everyone at home. Listen, I don't know this girl. I don't know Fresh either. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know their whole history. There's a very high possibility that these people have done shady things in the past. So I have no way of knowing. The only people who said they knew her are y'all. Question for you, bro. What proof do you have that she's an escort? This girl comes from a rich ass family. Yeah, bro. You know how d difficult it is to get a fucking visa as a Chinese national to come to the United States as often as she does? She comes from a very wealthy family, bro. Here's that where you're wrong. Crazy. One, she's on the court. And two, I didn't buy a bracelet. Fresh, why are you even addressing this? Live your life. You're not doing anything a person uh, in your shoes wouldn't do. You're living the dream and people going to hate as long as you know you do right by your people and with God you're good. The problem is, bro, true. is that. It's they, because they brought her into they brought the, her into into the yeah. I, you can roast Normally, me all, he wouldn't give. A yeah, I don't, dude, you can roast me all day. I don't, really, I really don't care. But when you bring her family and her in, into this, is weird, bro. It's like really weird. Like, and she's cool. She's cool. So it's like, bro, why? Because you want to hate on me? Come on, man. This is why I don't do vlogs anymore with girls. This is the reason why. Yeah. Because it makes them look crazy. Yeah. 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 It's, and this is honestly, like, it's, it's like, funny because we gave y'all an IRL, right, showing a little bit of our life. Yeah. And then. It like now it's like and you guys wonder why like we're reluctant to like show you guys stuff that we do behind the scenes is because <sighs> people got to be weird bro like they always got to be yeah they do but the reason you guys don't do it is because you guys are fraudsters and if you really show what happens behind the curtain they're going to see that you don't live the lifestyle that you proclaim but and fresh this is evidence of that because whether this girl's an ex worker or not really has no importance to me but it has an importance to your movement and the things that you guys profess these are the exact kind of women that you tell all the men to if she is what she say, you say she is this is the exact kind of woman you tell every guy to avoid when you went on the HG podcast, you said you have to sleep with 50 women or more. Why? So you can discern female nature. So you can spot a good one from a bad one. What guys have to do is kind of go in and understand how women operate in today's day and age. And I think a, a good way to do that is obviously to have experience so that you're not getting into a relationship or a situation with a woman and you're not aware of her nature and you don't know how to deal with it. Fresh has supposedly had a thousand bodies. Pretty successful ladies, you know, we're both a triple digit notch count, he's in the quadruples. <laughs> so, my honest to God truth body count, bro, no cap. You ready for it? It's over a thousand. I'm dead ass serious. I remember, I told you, right? I told you about Barbados when, so basically guys, I'm gonna break it down for you, right? And you can't tell a good one from a bad one? Doesn't this just make you look like you have zero credibility? How do you get a wife, Ethan? Because my thing is like, you're you're like just, you're talking about the finish line. What about the race? Yeah. yeah. You stand like you have to get Are to either of you married? Where you can even identify a female that's worthy of marriage, of having a family with, etc. And unfortunately in today's day and age, it's not that simple anymore. So we so live in a very complex world where it's difficult to identify women that are marriage material. A lot of guys don't have that ability to find a woman that's worthy. You don't have that ability. I don't have that ability? You're not married. <laughs> that's by choice. <laughs> oh, but you, but no, the ability to find a woman, you clearly don't have that ability. I wonder how many more times they're gonna make this mistake. Again! And? Again! And? Again! So you use the sugar daddy websites as dating sites. 
you say it's hard to find a good woman because they're they're motivated by material things and stuff and yet you're seeking women specifically a certain type of woman obviously that would be on a sugar daddy website so it seems like you are confirming your biases by even going there to find women what? okay so you sorry said, Walter, I'll, I'll say it. you want me to say it again slower in a sense it's because <sighs> people got to be weird bro like they always got to be weird and like send the girls messages like angie gets a bunch of stupid ass messages too i couldn't imagine you know she just has thick skin it, but they're but they're right they're right we don't honestly post some of the thing that goes um in our personal lives why because people are gonna be weird about it they're gonna take pictures of people that have nothing to do with your family and claim they are your family and then diss them fix that happens that's too. what you that's what you did <laughs> so you're right motherfuckers be weirdos yeah and that's you but never forget what they told us many, many, many years ago. We are better than you niggas, period. I can like, we're better than you niggas. We make more money than you niggas. We got a better fucking channel than y'all niggas. We get more views than y'all niggas. The only thing you guys got on us it's is numbers. you guys been on longer. But I guarantee you, next year, this time, we're going to lap you motherfuckers. Because you know what? Back. Nobody works harder than us. Nope. Period. <laughs> How's that going? <laughs> How's that going? One demonetization and losing millions of dollars later. How's that going? <laughs> yeah, always oh, going to lose. Huh? You're my child. I've disciplined you a great many times and I will discipline you again. You know why we do this? Because the red pill, this movement, huh? it is a sickness of the highest order, and I don't enjoy it. Yeah, I got to pay. They showed some kind of video of um, of her, which is supposedly her with a client. Okay, but it's an anonymous source. Okay, so this is a photo of her meeting up with a guy, and it gets better. We got video and audio. Run the clip. If you call me an I'll prove it. Prove it. Firstly, do you take a paper? No. Cash only? No. We touch transfer. Do you have cash? I would prefer to pay you half first and then half after. It's never worked out good enough to pay up from. Why? I'm here. What are you worried about? One time, I paid the girl up for us. I was a pleasure. She said she came up three times and that she couldn't do it anymore. So you're going to do it in 10 times? Till then? I have been sick. That don't even look like her. <laughs> Listen, like we don't even see her face. They don't have the That's same a receipt. <laughs> a receipt without a date, without a fucking store, without a fucking item. It's not a receipt. It's you, what you have is a piece of paper. That's facts. And there's a lot of other pieces of paper here. You showed a scrumpled up piece of paper all in Chinese. Her getting fired from some place for eleven different reasons. It doesn't even say which one it is. You guys just assumed it's got to be all of them. I, it was rinky dink. I was really disappointed because I'm like, oh, listen, maybe they got something good. There was nothing there. Whether she is a or not, I don't care. Doesn't even matter. It, it doesn't even matter. Did Fresh get her pregnant or not? And if he did, he got to be accountable for that. As a matter, that's of, it. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, if you're trying to prove that she's a worker, and she is, and you didn't see it, yeah. It shows more what you are than what she is. Uh, every day. It's just funny to me that the dudes who are supposed to be experts at this literally couldn't see something that was supposedly right in their face, but their own fans could see it. Mm -hmm. How does that make you a credible leader in this regards? It doesn't. When the fans point it out to you, you call them stupid, uneducated, lonely dudes who have no game. But you, with all the game in the world, can't figure it out. You introduce her to your mom and your whole family. You was eating out her bonds. If she is what you claim she is, that's a bigger L for you. The fact that you got on a podcast and thought, yo, this is a double you. I'm about to eviscerate everything. All you did was make your brand look more shaky, you dumbass. This would be like an evangelical getting accused of sleeping with a prostitute. 
He's like, no, no, no. It wasn't a prostitute. It was just a trans man. She was not a prostitute. She was a crack. <laughs> I didn't pay her in ducats. I paid her in crack. Because I would never pay for sex with money. Guys, this is a police report where she basically stole money from an individual. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She stole money from an individual. All right? And... So apparently there's a police report about someone claiming she stole $1,000. She was never convicted. She was never charged. We have no information about this. But they're saying she's a criminal. Yeah, damn. How does that work? How do you work in law enforcement and before someone's ever found guilty, you say they're a criminal? And if she was a criminal, how does she get a visa to go from China to the U.S.? Think about how none of this makes any sense. Now, me personally, this is how I think it's all going to end. I don't think she don't keep the kid. I think everyone's going to be able to move on. And I think it's the best thing for everybody. Okay? They're, they're not, I know I memed about having this kid named Abba Appreciate. I think it's funny. But I don't actually want that to happen. I don't want some kid to be born in these circumstances. And if I'm the Chinese national, there's no way I'm having some half black baby to go back to China and have to be socially ostracized. That just seems like a horrible idea. Let's know what you guys think in the comments below. But I think this is another L for them. It's just like, imagine just like, yo, no. Yo, I didn't get beaten up by two guys that were shorter than me. I got f***ed in the ass. <laughs> Hope you guys like today's video. I'm glad, I'm, yeah. Again!